Hey guys, how's it going? So Voyager CEO is buying stock? Well, at least according to insider trading, Canadian insider trading. Uh, on March 8th, 2022, Steve and another insider bought a total of 60,000 shares, 62,000 shares at a price of 604 and $6.16 USD. Voyager right now is sitting at $6.12 USD. It has gone down to $5.43, which would have been a great, great opportunity to buy some. I mean, it still, it still could be a good opportunity. No one's gonna get the bottom perfectly. I was hoping it was gonna go down a little bit more, like, Touch five dollars or lower, and I would have I would have added it to my position. Uh, I do have a position, and yes, I am bag holding, but it's not that bad. Uh, but uh, I am bag holding right now, and uh, I will. I might. I'm thinking maybe I'll buy some more. I'm hoping for a red day tomorrow, but we might not get one. Why? Because look, Jim Cramer says chart suggests Nasdaq 100 and S and P 500 could be days away from bottoming. Jim Cramer says, and when this thing cut, when there's like articles like this, you're basically saying the bottom's in. No, that's what I think. I don't know. At the end of the day, uh, Voyager is kind of like linked to Coinbase. So if you guys think that Voyager is a garbage company, they're not a garbage company. They're linked to Coinbase. If Coinbase, like for example, Coinbase has gone down to the lowest point it ever has been in its history of its charting. It went as low as $155 and then Voyager also hit 52 week lows too. Brand new 52 week lows of $5.15. Uh, Voyager is a higher return on investment than uh, Coinbase because Coin Voyager has gone to $20 before and there's potential to go even higher while Coinbase highest is $350. Like if you look at Coinbase and Voyager's chart doesn't it look very similar? It looks very similar to me. Uh, Voyager, boom. Coinbase, boom. You know, around November 9th is the highest point. Voyager, around November 9th, it's the highest point. So, do you think retail investors control the market? I don't. I really don't. And then, you know, Voyager started steadily going down. Coinbase started steadily going down. So, yeah. Retail don't move markets. Retail, uh, big money and market makers move markets. So and they will determine that Voyager and Coinbase goes down. So that's what the charts are telling me. But retail have no movement, no say in anything in the stock market. The only thing you you have your only job to do is try to buy as low as possible. Believe in the investment. And hopefully the market, the rich people come back and pump the stock back up and you make money uh, on the way up. And so that's just how I see the market. And Bitcoin dictate, dic dictates Coinbase and Voyager's stock. So it is what it is and that's just the reality of it. Um, uh, you know, Voyager on the Canadian side is $7.83. Uh, and then VGX uh, is actually doing better than... But it's kind of like the same thing, you know. Spiked in November and then declined and it's just kind of flat. It's doing a lot better than the stock. The stock is in bigger discount mode than the token in my opinion. But token, you know, has a small, smaller market cap. And on top of that, you get interest just for holding the VGX token versus Voyager stock. You get zero interest for holding that. So... Just saying, wanted to point out a few things. Yes, I do have shares in Voyager, and yes, I am currently bag holding. Uh, Pre-market right now is slightly green. I think we're gonna see green days coming forward here. I think I think the bottom's in. I think there, there might be some volatility along the way, but I think we're gonna go back up again. That's my opinion. We'll see if I'm right or wrong in the coming days and weeks. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't want to, that's okay. I don't care. And have a great day. Bye.